I'd like to demonstrate a very nice joint mobilization for the lumbar spine to mobilize it into flexion. And it's especially valuable after our client has been lying face down for a while. So Yoshiko, I'd like you to go back into child's restorative pose in yoga. And when she goes into this position, I can start by using my forearms. And the stretch, the mobilization, is all the joints between my forearms. So if I'm far away like this, it's diluted over many joint levels. If I get my forearms closer together, the stretch becomes a bit more specific. Now instead of using forearms, I could actually use my hands, and very often you'll see therapists cross their hands like this. And what I'm doing is I'm grabbing a spinous process in this groove between the thenar and hypothenar eminences, the intereminential groove, and I'm doing the same thing with the other hand. But the hard part here is I cannot get to the point where I can pin one vertebra and move the very next one because there's so much space between my hands here. So instead, I'm going to turn this hand, my hand that's cephalat toward her head, and I'm going to turn it perpendicular. And then my other hand, the caudal hand here, will go above that. And now I can pin one spinous process with my left hand here. And I can find the very next spinous process with my right hand. And I push away to open the area up into flexion and I can mobilize one joint level at a time. Now to facilitate this, if I were to put a bolster between her abdomen and her thighs, so Yoshiko, just lift up a bit, let me get that in there, and now drop down on it. It opens her up even more into flexion, and it makes it even easier for me to find one spinous process with my perpendicular, my left hand, and one spinous process with my right vertically oriented hand. And I can get a really nice stretch mobilization for the lumbar spine into flexion with this position. Okay, I'll take this out and you can go ahead and lie face down. And I'll put this back under your ankles. So a very nice stretch mobilization for the lumbar spine into flexion is to put the client back into yoga, child's, or restorative pose, and then pin one lower lumbar vertebra, and then mobilize the superior one toward flexion in the superior vertical direction. Let's use the plastic skeleton to demonstrate this flexion mobilization, a bolster underneath client's abdominal area will open the spine up into flexion, the lumbar spine into flexion. I have my two hands. If I take my cephalat hand and I find a spinous process and I pin that spinous process perpendicularly across here, I take my caudal hand and I use the intereminential groove between the thenar and hypothenar eminences and I find the next spinous process of the vertebra directly above and then as I pin with my left hand, I push into flexion with my right hand. Now let me try and turn, orient the skeleton toward you a bit so you can see that better. I open it up into flexion. I could then go to the next level, pin this spinous process, find the next spinous process and open that up into flexion. And again, orienting it toward you so you can see just like that, opening into flexion.